Well, Father, again, we come to you in Jesus' name and very grateful for another day. You did indeed give us the ability to get out of bed. You caused us to have breath in our lungs, the ability to, to come here today, a free country, to open your word, to dive in, to hear from your heart. God, our heart in here is to draw closer to you. You have penned your love letter. You've given it to us. It's out in the open. So today we pray you give us insight and wisdom as we go through it. I, I pray from head to toe that you would clear me out of the way. That I might be a, a vessel that's open. Just that you would teach through me. And hearts in here, all of us together, we would be encouraged, equipped, challenged. And most importantly, walk out here today closer to you, Jesus, than we were when we came in. That's my prayer. I pray you would answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. I have right here uh, a phone I got here. It's called the Blackberry Pearl. Anybody got that model here? Blackberry Pearl is a cool little phone. Um, I got it as a birthday gift back in March. And uh, it's a pretty cool gift. Now, I'm not a tech-savvy kind of cat. I'm kind of a, you know, some of you guys are techno wizards in here, techno geeks, you know, internet, phones, all that kind of stuff. So, um, this, this thing came with like, you can do email, you can do text messaging, you can, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with this phone. Well, I'm one of those guys that, I had this flip phone for years, and, and it was just flip it open, dial up the number, you know, and yo, I mean, it's old school. I didn't, it wasn't like, you know, I, you know, like you got, it was, but I was, I was simple. Well, I get this gift that has got so many abilities and it's got these crazy things that you can do with it. But, you know, I never really understood how to do it. So, you know, the first few months, I just was, I was like, okay. First of all, it came with this little thing. Uh, I pull it out and it's locked. How do I unlock it? And, and then, you know, I, it took me a month to figure out how to unlock my phone, you know. And, and then a couple months later, you know, and, and I'm just calling people. And I find out that I can actually do emails on this thing. So I don't have to go home. If there's an important email, I don't have to go home, get on my computer, wait for it to boot up, and then go through my emails. I can just like, dude, I got, it. Oh, I got an email around the phone. So I was, I was living for months without that, that fringe benefit. And then the text messengers. Now, some of you guys are texting right now, and if I catch you, I'm going to come get you. So you won't stop. But the text messaging, you know, another thing that I'm like, and I don't know about it, if you have a BlackBerry Pearl, you have to learn how to do it. There's a certain way, every, every number has like two letters on it, and you have to push different buttons first. And I mean, you've got to be rocket science to figure out how to do this. But when you figure it out, crucial. It's awesome. It opens up a whole new ball game of, of now I'm a pastor, so what I love is people, and I love God's Word. And I'll give you a perfect example. Two things happened just recently. I'll pray throughout the day and I'll say, God, just give me, I want to walk with you. Who needs encouragement? Who, who, who can I pray for? Who can I, I'm reading God's word. Who, how can I encourage? And God will just, boom, he'll put it on me. You need to text so-and-so right now this scripture as I'm reading. And I'll text someone. And don't you know it, on their end, they're having a tough day and they're like, man, that's exactly what I needed. It was God using this gift right here to really edify the body, really build someone up. Um, my wife, actually, she was praying for her younger brother in Florida, and, and she just really felt this burden to just, just to encourage him. So she just texts something real quick, I love you, something just real simple. Well, my wife, if you know her, every time she signs her name on her email, it's got like, like, a, like a book of the Bible underneath it. You know, I, I mean, that's just how she is. She gets like something that God's really teaching her, so it's like Denise Doxson. You know, Jeremiah 27, 8 through 20, you know, and, and so it's like this message, well, my, my, little, my, my little brother-in-law gets this text, and my wife just wanted to say, I love you, man, I'm praying for you. Well, then there's like a message in it, you know, and, and he receives it, he looks at the text, and he, and he texts back, and I saw it this morning, he said, you don't know, that that's exactly what I need, I had a long night of work, and that was amazing. So this gift, that, and now Denise has the same little thing, this little blackberry pearl thing, and, and God's used this gift in amazing ways. But here's the thing. If I would have never took time to understand how it works, I would have never had the ability to build up the body to help people out with it. it been, I wouldn't have had the opportunity. I mean, I remember being on the, the phone for like an hour with this guy, this, this techno guy, 
from BlackBerry to set all this thing up for me because I would have never got it, you know? And then I had to go to the manual, you know, figure that, guys. You have to actually go to the manual and figure out how to do the texting. Otherwise, I, I would have never figured it out. And this great ability that I would have, it would just went, went by the wayside. And I went back to dialing and dialing up, hey, hello, you know? The BlackBerry Pro, great gift. You're like, where are you going with this? Well, remember now, we're in 1 Corinthians. And now we find ourselves in chapter 14. You remember in chapter 12, just for a review, and some of you guys that haven't been here, chapter 12, we got into spiritual gifts. And in the church today, you have the abuse of the spiritual gifts or you have the neglect. You see both sides. And at Calvary Chapel, we want to be balanced. We want to be balanced when it comes to spiritual gifts. So in chapter 12, some of you guys are, give me the outline, okay? So chapter 12, we talked about the manifestations of the gifts. For example, the word of wisdom. We talked about how God will just supernaturally, as, just as you're going, he'll drop this word of wisdom in your mind and you'll be able to figure something out that's going on, like a problem, something. It's a gift of God. It's a manifestation of God's spirit as you're connected with him, you're walking with him, you're in his word, you're worshiping, you're connected with him. So we talked about manifestations of God's Spirit. Then we talked about the next week in chapter 12, ministries. And how all of us together, God's been given gifts. We've all been given different gifts so we can come together as the body of Christ and function properly. And the title of that message was Get in the Game. So we challenge you guys, understand what your role is, what your role in the church is to edify the body, your ministry. So we talked about that. Um, you, you, the manifestations the, your ministry. And then, last week, we talked about the true motivation. What's the mo what needs to be the motivating factor of practicing these spiritual gifts? Anyone learn last week? What was, what was the answer to it? Love. If I'm not practicing the gift that God's given me in love, it's like a plain symbol. It doesn't make any sense. It's worthless to you, to me, unless I'm doing it in love, motivated by true love. And that brings us to chapter 14. And here's the key that I want us to zero in on today, is maturity. So all these, I'm sorry I'm an alliteration freak, maturity. And how these gifts today that you've been given, how they need to be used to be able to edify the body. We need to understand that. I think too often some people have been given these gifts, you've been given a Blackberry Pearl, but you've never really tapped into, you've never looked into the manual, you've never called, you know, technical support, Lord, how do these work? To understand how your spiritual gift functions in the body to bless others. Again, and you're going to hear it today. Paul is a dude says edification like, like I say do. I mean edification, edification, edification. It's all about spiritual gifts, guys. It's all about building up the body. It's all about love. Doing it in a love-motivated factor. That's what it's about. It's not so I can... Think I'm sweet. Oh, God's given me the gift of teaching, or He's given me the gift of encouragement, or whatever. Well, I want you to look at me because I've been given that gift. No. You've been given the gift of tongues. Great. But it's not to puff yourself up. And unfortunately, that's what was going on in Corinth there. Remember, the book 1 Corinthians is God writing through the Apostle Paul to the church at Corinth instruction, correction on how this Christian life works. Turn to Acts 18, and I want to just kind of, kind of go back and really get us some more background. Again, the, the book 1 Corinthians, why it was written, and then we'll start into 1 Corinthians 14. Acts 18, and before we begin there in verse 1, I want to just kind of bring us up to speed. Remember, the book of Acts would best be described as Acts of the Holy Spirit through the Apostles. It's the, it's the history of the early church as God was moving in through his people. Jesus is, has, it has died, is resurrected. He sends out his disciples to go spread the message throughout the, the world at that time. You have Paul, the apostle, is one of God's chosen people to go spread that message. Him and, uh, him and old uh, Barnabas get in a fight in one of their, uh, their early missionary journeys. And so now Paul says, all right, dude, and it's all over Mark. You know, his, his, his nephew, and he's like, all right, I'm, I don't want that little pipsqueak come with us, tough on that. Let's, let's part ways. So Paul grabs Silas, and they start heading out a different direction. They hit up Philippi, Thessalonica, Berea, Athens.